Well, hello there. It's William Robson here with Nuke for 3D Artists. Right, um, you'll recognise this scene from a very simple <laughs> sort of camera projection thing that I'm not overly happy with that video, but I'll leave it there because it it's technically correct, but there's some other stuff I need to put in. Right, um, incidentally, that was the, op the op alternate sort of uh, sky that I had. And then I would need to obviously grade it down a bit, so it looked like that. Right? But anyway, um, this one is about uh, grouping nodes. Okay, now the thing is, uh, this is a very, 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 very simple node graph. Um, I regularly work with ones where it's like that, but all of this is covered, literally in hundreds and hundreds uh, of nodes. And it gets really complicated really fast. And now one of the simple things that you can do is organization. Now I don't just mean by making things lined up and pretty and stuff, but also um, how you can group nodes together, right? Now the easy way to do this is you go up to edit, okay? Node, group, then go. Collapse to group, control and G, right? Which is easy. So we select stuff, go control, G, boom. Right, now we know this is, I always name them, and this is background, or we'll call it sky group, sky group, right? So that's a sky stuff, right? Now you'll see, look, there's our sky group over here, right? Normally you can only have one output from it, as far as I believe, compass may disagree. But it's usually best where everything's going to one place. So, of course, on here, I would take up to the scanline, not the, the grades and stuff, right? This is just the actual um, 3D stuff, putting things together before we start changing the image. So, Control and G, boom, right? Now, we'll say that there, and we'll just call that uh, camera projection. So, cam projection group, right? Now, you'll notice now, this looks exactly the same. We have far fewer nodes. In fact, you could get rid of those two and that, right? And you've basically got two group nodes and a merge node, right? Now, what happens if you want to say open up the sky group? Now, what you do is you either go to edit, node, group, and then expand group which will immediately go boom like this right which is not normally what you want but you can i'll just undo some of those steps so i've got it named or you go node group open group node graph all right so we'll go boom and see it's over here <coughs> sorry and sneeze there um it's another one of these simple little tricks that, uh, you know, make things massively simpler because it's easier dealing with that than a huge explosion of nodes. But be um, intelligent how you group them. That's what I'd say. Simple as that, be intelligent how you group them um, and remember if to name them correctly. Um, if it's something that's not obvious, always make a note of it somewhere, right? It's sort of important. And if you want to be, um, say this is part of just one section of a comp, you could, of course, just select all this stuff here and then just add a backdrop to it, right? And then you could just call that uh, wall projection, right? Tell that actually bloody spell. Right, and then we'll just put that on. I'll make it 35. Boom. Put ball on. Yeah, don't like the round there. Let's have show card gothic. There you go. So you can have that like that. You've got a number of these. And you re-collapse things down and down and down, although that can be overkill. So there you go. That's a very simple one. Uh, hopefully, uh, that's of some use to some of you with very complex comps. Bye-bye.